Hi, I'm Tristan, and welcome to Plastic Oddities. So welcome to a new thing I'm trialling where it's going to be a five minute video, DIY, whatever. Um, I live in a fairly isolated area, so getting stuff is you know, can be quite difficult. So I tend to try and work out ways of doing things on the cheap, like most modelers do. So I was introduced to the concept of a wet palette, which is used for um, hand painting. Um, when you hand paint, you usually thin your paints down and you'll have like a tray, you put your paint in, water, or put your thinning, thinning medium in. Um, and you know, it can get really sloppy and that type of thing. I uh, introduced the concept of a wet palette. Now, wet palettes actually aren't that expensive, but you know, if you're cheap, you know, it's it's fun to make your own stuff. So uh, I've put together it's basically just a series of photos and not talk over them very quickly. So you want to keep this under five minutes on what a wet palette is, how to make one, um, and then we'll go from there and see what happens. Um, so as I said, wet palette used for hand painting um, really helps get your consistency of paint down quite nicely. But what I like about it is that even though you might thin it down, acrylic paint tends to dry quickly. That's why we use it. Um, a wet palette keeps it wet and you know, the lock stays longer. So I've actually got paint that's been sitting in my palette for about a week now and it's still usable. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a bit of a bonus because you're reducing your wastage because once the paint dries, you can't really do much with it, you can't reactivate it either. So yeah, wet palette, if you're a hand painter, uh, give it a go. It can only be used for what we call wet painting. Don't use it for glazes. And things like that you might well it probably would work actually but you know the experts say don't do it so hey why not give it a go but generally speaking said it's only used for paints only as opposed to glazes and things like that um it said keeps paint wet keeps paint wet for longer you can reuse your paint a bit more um chuck it in the fridge which i haven't tried because my wife would kill me if i put a paint a uh, tray of paint in the fridge but apparently you put chuck it in the fridge and it'll keep for like weeks um, and not be an issue. So, hey, here it is. Five minute quickie. If this works, if it doesn't work, have we give it a go. Okay, so first thing I'd recommend uh, in getting is a decent sealable container. Uh, my suggestion is one of those microwave cooking containers that you can get from most supermarkets and two dollar shops and all that type of thing. Um, so long as it's got a really good seal, that's all that really matters with this stuff. So I said, yeah, get one that's got a good seal on it. Okay, so next is your, um, I guess what I would call your wetting material. This is probably the thing that a lot of people that design these things argue about. Uh, I found that these multi-purpose cleaning sponges work really, really well. Uh, so long as they can absorb water, um, you don't want your palette to be soaking. Um, just wet is good enough. And last but not least is the actual palette part of the wet palette, which is a decent greaseproof um, cooking paper. Uh, I've seen some people recommend uh, wax paper. That works really well as, you know, that works quite well as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd, I'd suggest that a decent, decent greaseproof paper or wax paper, um, one that is waterproof and won't actually fall apart when it gets wet. Okay, now putting it all together, uh, as you can see, I basically cut the sponge up, didn't do a very good job, and put it in the palette. Um, the paint that's actually on the sponge was a result of using uh, dodgy wax paper um, that just, when it got wet, it fell apart. So yeah, so cut the sponge to shape and then wet it, but do not soak it. You don't want that so, you know, if you were to wring it out, water comes out. You just want it as a damp, cloth or damp sponge and finally just put the wax paper on um, you'll see that it will kind of stick to sponge which is what you want uh, add your paint on a couple of drops of water probably don't even really need that as such um, smear it around you can use it for mixing all that type of thing and you can start to paint it works trust me I know what I'm talking about and cue <laughs> 